Yo, wait, wait, wait. He got balls. He got fucking balls. When you see a white boy with balls, you know, I'm talking about from real, but like, fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah. But you were, yo, but time out. Would you, <laughs> wait, wait, would you pop? Would you knock him out? Huh? How fast would you know? Would it be like Tyson when you were 19, 19 seconds? Yeah, but nah, man. He's, let him have his fucking reign, man. Let him have his fucking <laughs> Yeah, but what time. if he stepped up and he's like, yo, Tyson, you're Pussy, let's go. Nah, he's not gonna say to that. He'd be like, Maybe that's one fight you. Dana would get behind. Yo, Tyson yeah. versus Jake Paul be would way. be the best fight fucking ever. What about all the boxing shit going on right now? As far as like, you know, Jake Paul is obviously, you know, he's big. beautiful. My kid, my, my family loves Jake Paul. Oh, he's he's cool. Could you, fuck him, could you fuck him up? Huh? Could you fuck him up? Oh, I'm so fucking easy. You think? Yeah, but I would, love him. I would never. I would never. <laughs> I believe it's my fucking family. Everybody loves this little white motherfucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! He's fighting him again. Why? You know, I'm kind of not afraid of you. I don't give a shit if he's afraid of me. You don't have to be afraid of someone to get your ass. There's been a lot of talk in the boxing world as of late in terms of who Mike Tyson might be fighting next. And yes, we put boxing in emphasis because as you might recall, the big discussion is that of which of the Paul brothers he might go and fight in an upcoming exhibition match. Jake and Logan Paul have been trying to swing hard to get both traction for their boxing careers and put other boxers to shame in terms of turnout and payout. But while there are rumors going around that they could face Mike Tyson, he's saying that it's not happening quite yet. We'll break it all down for you, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number 6. The Denial Despite rumors to the contrary, Mike Tyson won't be stepping into the ring with social media star Jake Paul. A representative for the former champion told Forbes, This shoots down a rumor sparked by tabloid reports, claiming the two are planning a showdown in Las Vegas later this year. Joe Magnano, a representative for Tyson, called the reports totally false and said the 55-year-old heavyweight thinks the Paul brothers are great but isn't, nor will he fight either one of them. Monday, tabloid The Sun claimed an associate of Tyson said the former boxer and Paul, age 25, were in advance talks to headline a nearly $50 million pay-per-view fight. While obviously that'd be a huge payout, clearly that's not happening, or at least it's not happening right now. But that doesn't mean it couldn't happen in the future, or that Tyson won't eventually change his mind, especially when you consider that Tyson has gained a lot of respect for the Paul brothers in his own way. Number 5. Tyson on the Pauls. Here's the deal. Since Jake Paul got his second KO in his boxing career against former NBA star Nate Robinson, a lot of people have been talking about the Paul brothers and their boxing careers, both in the positive and the negative. However, when it comes to Mike Tyson, he's someone who's admitted multiple times that both Jake and Paul have surprised him to the extent that he feels they're good for boxing. Not because they bring a lot of talent or skill to the fights, though they would definitely say that, but rather they bring attention to boxing. As social media stars and big ones, at that, due to their longevity, their well-known names. So, when they have done their boxing fights, they get people to pay attention. And that's why last year, Tyson actually had this to say about a potential clash with them. This is the fight for the money. Those are the money-making fights. Those guys got 35 million people to watch. Yes, hell, I would fight them. They would fight me. That would make a lot of money. Hundreds of millions. They do anything. They don't mind getting beat up for $100 million. Granted, the Paul brothers would say that they're not the ones who would get beat up for $100 million, but we'll let that slide because we'll blast the polls later. The point here is that while there is a refusal from Tyson right now, it's not because he has no respect for the Paul brothers, unlike others they've challenged like Canelo Alvarez and Conor McGregor. It's likely that right now he's looking for fighters who are more on his skill level. But of course, given whom we're talking about here, the Paul brothers already think they are on his skill level. Number 4. Mocking Tyson You see, on their podcast, both Logan and Jake Paul decided to talk about dream opponents that they could have in the future, and one of them was Mike Tyson though they didn't exactly praise him in their chat. Someone mentioned Mike Tyson. My lawyer mentioned it and he's like, nah, Tyson will rip your head off. You don't stand a chance. I'm like, I just went through all this. You can't tell me I can't beat Mike Tyson. He's old, old, said Logan Paul. Yes, we can tell you that, Logan, and for a very basic reason. One, while he is old, he's still an experienced boxer. Second, while he's old, he's still an incredibly strong person, as proven by his workout videos that he was showing off in late 2021. And just because you're old doesn't mean you can't do anything. It just means you need to be more savvy about it. Furthermore, unlike a certain money opponent you faced last year, Logan, Mike Tyson is someone who seeks out victory at all costs. 
and not just a payday. So thus, you might think you'd have the advantage, and then he'll KO you with a smile on his face. Number three, Joe Rogan weighs in. The idea of the Paul brothers, one or the other, fighting Mike Tyson in the ring has been flying around for a while, and as such, many people have been weighing in on this potential fight not the least of which is infamous UFC commentator Joe Rogan. The fact that Logan Paul wants to box him, it's like, wow, I can't believe they're really going to do that. That kid's going to get hit for sure. Floyd was hitting him. Floyd has only taken a small amount of time off, and he had those exhibition fights. Floyd has been pretty active as a boxer. He fought Pacquiao recently, and that Japanese kickboxing guy. He was just fighting guys like Conor McGregor that we knew Floyd was going to beat them, but he was still active. Mike hadn't been active forever. He got fat, but he's a different kind of person. It's going to be interesting to see what Logan can do to keep away from him. The only thing Logan has on his side is youth, and as we've seen in all sorts of sports, just because you have youth doesn't mean you can make up for experience, especially since when you combine the fights that Logan and Jake have in the boxing ring, it's less than 10, versus Tyson who had a lot of wins before winning his first belt, and then defended it quite a bit before his infamous 42-1 title fight in Japan. Either way though, whether it's Jake or Logan, you have to wonder. Number 2. Is this really good for boxing? This is honestly a rather complicated question, and for reasons that were brought up by Tyson himself. You see, as of right now, boxing is not in the best of places. It's not getting the love and attention it once was, and more regularly shown combat sports like wrestling and MMA are getting a lot more eyes on it. At one point in time, boxing was the prized sport, but now, not so much. And that's where the Paul brothers come in because for all their annoyance and stupidity, which they have in abundance, they make up for it in being able to bring the hype. Case in point, last year, Logan Paul fought Floyd Mayweather, and while that fight was absolutely a snooze fest and Logan Paul was exhausted by round three, not to mention Floyd himself admitted that the fight was him committing highway robbery in terms of doing the fight for an incredible payday and not wanting to KO Paul, people were curious about it, more curious than they had been for other boxing fights in recent times. And while Jake Paul hasn't fought someone that high profile as of yet, he has been doing his his job to try and hype each and every single fight so that he can get attention. He's even picking fights with Dana White because he knows it'll gain traction. So would a fight between one of them and Mike Tyson be good for boxing? If nothing else, it'll bring attention to boxing, and that's a plus. The flip side is that it'll be a short burst of attention followed by a flat line depending on how the fight goes. Number 1. The Obvious Result The other problem here is that more than likely both Jake and Logan will come ready to play should a fight with Mike Tyson happen. However, the flip side is that Mike Tyson will come ready to swing and try to KO either one of those brothers. And should he land the KO, and if he does it in Mike Tyson fashion and KOs them quickly, not only will it hurt boxing, but the Paul brothers will find themselves at the end of their hype and at the end of their boxing careers as they know it. So perhaps for them especially, it's best if they avoid this fight and thus avoid the embarrassment that likely awaits them. And there you have it everyone, a look at what Mike Tyson has said about fighting the Paul brothers, what a fight with them might actually be like, and more. Do you want Mike Tyson to fight the Paul brothers? If so, which one do you think would actually put up a good fight? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.